Welcome back to the Basement Graves of Beers. I'm Twisted Logic. Uh, I'm going to be chopping down all these trees. Designation T. And then um, I want to change the priority down here um, with the minus keys to 1. Alt M for box select. And then I'm just going to get all these trees that are kind of close to the um, entrance to the temple. Slash fortress. <laughs> Traders are leaving, and then we have a lot of um, cleanup to do because we're on the outside for the first time. Um, I want to um, smooth stone more of this uh, pathway as well. Oh, I set that to priority one. That should be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Dwarf Therapist, and I'm going to set uh, Shore Rest to only be smooth stoning. Um, he was stone crafting and smooth stoning, but um, and those are his only labors. I'm gonna switch it over to um, smooth stoning first. Who's this? Lore? Builder Lore? What do you got going on? General? Store item in stock pop. What does he have? Oh, silver nuggets hold. Great. We got more silver. Excellent. Excellent. So I've been working a crazy amount uh, at my main job and uh, finally got a day off. It's Saturday today and um, the world is off right now. <laughs> the world is off for everything except Dwarf Fortress. My phone's off. I'm the only one home and uh, it's great. <laughs> I'm recovering from like an ear infection. Okay, so I'm just going to turn off uh, stone crafting for sure asked. So stone detailing only for him. And then for this team right here, these four dwarves that are doing um, burial and refuse hauling, they're also going to be woodcutting, as well as all the haulers here. All the haulers are now woodcutters as well. Write the changes, and then I'm going to close out of... Uh, close out a dwarf therapist there because um, the AC is not in my apartment yet um, central air and I don't control when it turns on or off and right now it's like at the point where it should be getting ready to turn on for the season and um, but it's not on yet but I have the windows closed because of uh, the um, the noise levels outside and uh, so it's just one thing I got to deal with it I got to keep the temperature down whenever I open up to our uh, therapist the temperature jumps up a little bit to read all that data we got some uh, it's like a lot of wood cutting right now all the dwarves are felling trees and let's just check this stockpile here oh yeah give to wood stockpile 51 59 and 82 um, I think that's these this one is um, 82 okay where's 59 uh, here's 51 stockpile 51 I'm not sure where the other stockpile is <laughs> is it is this two stockpiles no that's one okay Block, food stock pop. Okay, great. We got all these little baby elements as well. And they are going to be war trained when they grow up. So we have this tunnel complete as well. So the next time the vile force of darkness or the um, undead army attack, we can uh, hopefully eliminate them pretty quickly with this trap. Or we can try to capture them as well with this trap here. So I want to assign an animal. Oh, the change is still being made here. Okay. Um, steel chain. Okay. So they need to be furniture hold in there as well. But there's a lot of stuff going on. We're just going to follow Sodell here. See what Sodell's up to. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, okay. So there's a bunch of... Uh,
steel shields right here. Okay. So it's a lot of cleanup going on. Excellent. So my, my current plan for the um, channel is to finish the Basement Craters of Beers here and the Hermit Challenge. Um, and then I'm going to probably end up doing like one game at a time in like a complete series uh, and just focusing on that one game until it's complete. I think that's, that may be a better strategy um, because I feel like with um, multiple series going on at once, um, it's kind of like I'm spreading myself a little thin with the video production. Now there are some cases where I'm gonna have like a decent sized recording slot like today. Uh, let me have some more coffee. I can only really record um, one episode of a particular series and then I'm gonna have to wait to create the next one. Uh, sometimes I can do it like back to back, like I record one episode, do the next episode, but uh, you know, sometimes I can't. So I'm going to attempt to have either only one or two series going at once. So there's, um, there's several series that I want to work on that are just going to have to wait until um, a little bit later, but that's okay. I'm going to finish up, uh, not too much going on left in Basement Graves of Beers. What I want to do is, um, I'm going to go to the Civilizations menu. The goal of this series is to attack, um, this tower and destroy it. Population 75 here. So we may need one or two squads for that. And then, maybe some of these smaller... Goblin pits as well. So I didn't get as many um, migrants as I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, we're getting all this wood inside, and um, I think it'll be pretty easy. Um, just needs like a little bit more time with uh, preparations. Oh great, are these chains in place? Yes, this um, this is in place. So I'm going to assign an animal and. Um, Let's see. Uh, I'll do some of the pults. I normally do kittens for this uh, trap, but <laughs> I'll, this one as well, I'll assign a pult. So the pults usually, I like to get them when they, you know, the younger ones, the kittens or the pults. Um, just because if, if I don't get attacked in like a year or two, um, they'll still be alive if I put a full grown turkey in there. Um, it may die beforehand, you know? Designation X and just X this part out. I just want to make sure that um, Shoras has plenty to smooth stone. Take a look at what uh, Shoras is up to. Zoom, follow. He's drinking. Excellent. So the lower area is um, locked up here. I just zoomed to lore and see what he was up to. Uh, builder lore here is creating rock crafts. Uh, mechanics workshop here and here. Okay. And then we have uh, a list of parts being made as well. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, yeah, we still got some water down here. Um, yeah, what is this guy up to? What is this? Builder cog? There's a couple of spots of water down here. Okay. Excellent. He's getting the stones out of there and uh, everything's going pretty smooth. The last episode of uh, last episode of Basement Grooves of Beers I recorded, um, it took like three hours to to make the it was three hours of gameplay, 
and then cut down from there. I don't know if I if I mentioned that in the last episode or not, but it was a pretty long. It took about half, um, a little bit more than half of my recording time for the day. Uh, that Saturday that I recorded it. Oh great, now we got uh, lumber coming in as well. We got logs and now where's this one going? Just went up the stairs. Oh okay, this is the other wood stockpile for the um, soap production. Excellent. And um, designations E to engrave. And I'm just going to engrave this area here. Um, yeah, I'll do this room right here. As well as these ones here. So all this gets engraved and we'll see what uh, see what uh, Shorest comes up with in the engravings if he gets to that. Oh great, he's on the edge of the map here doing the um, the road. Now I really wanted to make a flooding trap down here but the um, Sometimes that's a pain, the flooding traps. <laughs> uh, what I decided to do was, um, after Basement Grizz of Beers is complete and the Hermit Challenge is also complete, uh, which not too much longer in, in um, either one of them. I mean, if Urs McLogic dies in the Hermit Challenge, it's over. I'm not, like, doing anything special for him. Uh, same with this fortress. But this fortress is, um, this is not going to die. It'll be fine. I know enough about the game where it'll be fine. But afterwards, Next Door Fortress series is going to be, uh, oh, I got some core temperature here. Next Door Fortress series is going to be, um, a new test fortress because the current test fortress where I make the magma guns and, um, and test out different mechanics and stuff like that is like pretty slow. I got some miasma over here. It looks like it's um, probably some rotten food in this area here. They didn't food hole, I bet, and there's prepared food in here somewhere. tab out and see if I can find it. But the current test fortress is slow and um, pretty much running out of space. It's more of the space. It's not too slow. I did some uh, did some tricks to speed it up. My asthma should be fine. I couldn't really I couldn't find out where it was. <laughs> um, didn't really look that hard either though. <laughs> Okay, so I got 19 steel bars here, um, some steel battle axes, steel ballista arrowheads. I think that um, I think that I reset most of that steel production. Yeah, so it's copper bins. So we had the um, we had no bins, and it was messing up the fortress. One more minecart for this, and then we can make the other shop. Okay, so H for hauling. Uh, okay, magma fill is at 100%, so magma dump here. V for vehicle. And then I'll just switch it to this one. Enter. Okay, but I think that that pathway's blocked from the bridge. Yeah, right here. So F1. And then I'll open up that pathway down. Um, this one. What's this other lever here? This one right here. This is the cave system. Over here, this is the cave system. These are the three uh, traps. This should be the first. Um, this should be the first door to the caves, and then this should be like from my tunnels into the caverns right here. Should be. 
pretty sure I remember it. <laughs> oh great, and this guy's holding uh, tetrahedrite over to the metalsmith area. I'll just check that area. Oh, okay, this stone stockpile I'm gonna add uh, two wheelbarrows to. As well as this one. W2. And it looks like our reservoir is almost uh, full here as well. I gotta pull this lever um, once most of this side is full here. I want these numbers to stop moving because like it's doing like calculations trying to figure out where the water's supposed to go and I mean I'm at 32 FPS right now so it's not too bad but uh, once this settles then I'll pull this lever unless there's some swimming creature. This body I'm not going to be able to recover. I think that we built him a... Um, Athel here. I think that we built... Uh, Stuart Athel. I think we built him a tomb. Yeah, I have some of these tombs built right now. I don't think I have any ghosts. Let's go to units list and just check it out. Okay, all these undead cor uh, corpses and then the... We have a giant earthworm here. There's a troll. Let's zoom to the troll. Oh, okay. So the troll's down here on the corner of the map. In the cave system. Uh, silk farm is doing great. Looks like uh, it's ready for us to return to the silk farm. Um, well, the spider web's waiting for us down here. <laughs> Um, in this area as well here. Oh, they're coming in here to get silver nuggets. That's what's happening. Okay. I was um, wondering what uh, Builder Sodell was doing there, but he's coming in to get the silver nuggets here. Let's just check on that metal cart full of magma. Um, oh, great. So it was, it was dunked there. Um, so H... And then V, and then we'll just move the cart back down there. Oh, we got more ballista arrows coming in as well. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to make a um, stockpile for bars and blocks, and I'm going to put that like right here. And then another one next to it. Okay, so this one here is set to steel only. This one is iron mixed with pig iron. Uh, I'm gonna turn the bins off on this one here. I may cut the may cut that stockpile down And then the bins off on this one as well, and then just come up one level or two levels And then uh, These stockpiles here are gonna just move so P and then X so get rid of this one that one was steel only So the all this steel is gonna be brought down this one here is iron only cut that one out uh, this one here is pig iron So that gets cut out and this one here is magnetite ore So I'll make another stockpile down on the metal layer The new metal layer here for magnetite ore only That's um, gonna be P and then stone And I'll just kind of like do it Right about here Just magnetite, enter, escape. Okay, so that's magnetite only, and the wheelbarrows, uh, W, I'm gonna make two, two on this one. Excellent. And let's just see what else we have here. This is a stone stockpile. Let me see the settings of this one. I think this is the, um, yeah, this is, um, Limestite, dolomite, marble, calcite. So I'm going to go to load. And then I'm going to save it. Enter. Um, I, I may have this already saved, but I'm not sure. So one. Flux. Enter. And then back to the metal area here. And I'll make a stockpile stone.
right about there. I don't have to go into that, I just press L to load, and then um, enter on load. And just one flux right here at the top. Oh yeah, okay, so I didn't really save any, didn't really save any stockpiles in this game yet. That was the first one. <laughs> so enter on one flux. And now this is, uh, if I go into the settings of this, it's now set to the same limestone, dolomite, marble, calcite. I thought there was another one, but I don't think that I have it on the map. Um, I think chalk, but, uh, but I think I only have dolomite and marble on the map here. So it doesn't make a difference. You just see what flux you have on your map. P and then X. Get rid of this. Just check the wheelbarrows here. W. Two. So two, two wheelbarrows there. And then um, let me find the carpentry shop. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to add in wheelbarrow. I know when I moved it, I forgot. Uh, repeat that. Alt W. Add wheelbarrows of any wood. Range of this is going to be... Uh, I don't need that many. One, two, three. So they're going to make three of them, um, which which are going to go to the furniture stockpile. When those wheelbarrows are taken out of the furniture stockpile and brought to a stockpile that requires wheelbarrows, it's going to deplete it. Um, when it gets depleted down to one, they're going to make up to three and then stop. So the workflow's work of Duo DF Hack. <laughs> and I'll take another coffee uh, because... Um, not really speaking that great. All right, let's go to the units list and see what everybody's doing now. Store item and stockpile. Zoom and follow. Oh, okay. So this um, area was opened up again. Okay. So I might have to pull everybody out of this. So military alert. Get inside. And I'll just uh, just follow Lore here. I closed off this area because of um, they were coming down there to Stonehall, and I wanted everything up top to I wanted everything up top to get done first. before they started stone holing down there, because I have all this stone here um, that I want to get rid of. Uh, w for burrows. Good, I don't need to adjust the burrows there. And I think here as well, W. Oh, so I have to uh, add this area here. Enter. And then just paint this part in. As well as this part over here. Oh great, everything else should be good. Okay, so once I get everybody inside, they should be in there now. This lever right here, we'll pull this, add P in. And then after that lever is pulled, we can uh, Turn the military alert off so they can work outside and um, inside the fortress as well without going down to the um, tunnels. Here he comes now. Just give it a minute for this one to close. Grade shut. Just check on the stairs here. Military alert inactive. I just want to visually check this area though. Just in case.
great. Everything looks great. Builder Vutak is uh, moving the copper barrel. I don't remember making copper barrels, but it's, I guess at some point I did. He's moving it over to uh, probably the empty barrel stockpile or the seed stockpile. And let's just check right here. Up one level. Okay, we paved over this section. Um, so that means that we can dig out these walls right here now. Designations dig and get rid of this wall right here. I think that I have some of the builders are uh, also miners, I believe. Uh, but right now the current goal is to get as much of the place cleaned up, get as much wood inside, um, as well as hoping for more migrants. <laughs> and um, trying to keep Shoras from going crazy here. He, he looks like he's engraving this room now. Got a lot of it done. Oh, excellent. And construction on the um, outside fortress here has resumed as well. Um, Builder Lore just placed the floor there. I think I'm going to have to reset these floor tiles, though. So build, shift, C, um, F for floor. And then I'm going to turn auto mat selection off. And, but I'm going to turn box select on. And then just click here. And then uh, cover this whole area here. Not the stairs, though. Um, just like that. I think that's the last open space there. Enter. And so it's going to, it just found all the, oh, okay. So this is on top of walls here. Yeah, that should be fine. So this will be, uh, that'll, that'll be fine. So this room will be the hall. Enter. Um, granite blocks, shift enter. And just placed all of them now. Now I could cancel all of these ones. Um, the ones along like this right here is just the walls from underneath. So when you have a wall underneath, it creates a floor that the dwarves can walk on, but also build on, because um, it's considered a natural floor, as opposed to a constructed floor. Like this right here is a constructed floor, because um, there's nothing underneath. But on top of this wall is a natural floor. Um, it's easier to see over here. this over here as well. Build, construct floor. Granite blocks right there and then also here. And once this floor is complete, this one here and this one here, um, then this room will be uh, sealed off and I can open up this section here. And these guys are hard at work making the lye and the soap. Excellent. Now I do need more barrels, and look at this, I got cave lobster, but they, I thought they were vermin, but they're cave lobsters right there, but not in barrels, as well as um, this turkey meat and stuff. So I think I'm going to need a lot more barrels than what I actually have. Carpentry. Alright, you know what, I'll give the smith something to do here, so add. Okay, so I'm going to add in a um, piece of furniture that is copper, and it is a barrel. Forge copper barrel. Repeat that, Alt-W. Oh, copper barrels, okay. So I'm just going to turn the range of this up, well then. Um, three to five. I'll make it one to five. One to five barrels there. So I have two right now. Excellent, so uh, FPS is getting back up as well. We're constructing all the floors on this level. And then, um, yeah, this level up here as well. So build, um, construct floor. And then I'm just gonna start in this corner here. 
I, I kind of like this box select um, feature now that I started using it. I'm just going to do this top section here. Enter. And then um, you'll do granite box. Shift enter. Okay. Not enough granite blocks there. <laughs> um, so we'll do dorite blocks. Okay. Need some, another one. And then Gabra blocks there. 56 of them should do it. No, it didn't. Fill line. So apparently this is nice. Nice blocks. We'll do three nice blocks. <laughs> Fill light blocks. There we go. So we got that section there sorted out. Um, the doors will, the, can, the uh, builders will start making this as well. Now I could cancel these, but uh, it's fine. Once I get this roof in place here on this level, um, for this level here, once there's a roof in place here, I can start turning this into a dining hall. And um, maybe I'll just set some of these um, animals to be slaughtered here. Now that we have the pults um, hatched, I'm gonna slaughter all the turkeys here. And then what is this? Uh, oh, the alpacas. Yeah, just the turkeys here. Just these turkeys. And then when the pults grow up, they'll be the ones making the next round. Okay, excellent. All the um, turkeys are being slaughtered. And um, construction is continuing. Most of the cleanup looks like it's completed. Excellent. I created like a small um, wind tunnel from the other room. The other room's window has an intake fan now. And um, air is just being forced through the apartment and passively leaving through the window next to me. So hopefully that helps with the heat. I'm just following um, Holer Dishmab right now, taking care of some business. <laughs> taking out the trash from the... Uh, Different places. Where's he going right now? No job, huh? Nice socializing. Storing them in stockpile. Excellent. Oh, now the miasma in that room. Should be alright, though. So this track stop right here. Uh, I'm just going to click on that. X to remove the building. Okay. Okay, great, it's gone. And we have four magma underneath. So build. I'll do E for a, um... Well, do I wanna move the furnace or the shop? Let's see. And this one here to remove and then I'm gonna build a um, magma smelter down here L I'm gonna put the magma smelter right here and this is gonna be Gabra enter so I'm gonna move this magma forge um, over top of this area here and this smelter is gonna be moved here I'm gonna switch them so this smelter is being built building maybe this is it no it's builder zuglar <laughs> oh this is all dolomite and magnetite over here maybe we'll dig out this a little bit more if we need to I'll just set that right there so I remember um, it's not connected, so they can't. The miners can't actually get into there. If I do dig in there, I can maybe just dig like a one, one tile, um, so they have access to this area. And then when they're completed, um, getting all the stone out, I can uh, wall that off. Something else. 
some blocks or something if I want to maintain this as a water trap here let's see it comes up there so really all this needs is a um, bridge for drainage so maybe I'll dig that out here dig a spillway out here it just has to get over to the edge of the map and I'll do a couple of the spillways there and there okay so let me just uh, see here so we're gonna pop open these walls here as well as these walls here from up top and then that's gonna fill in this with water this bridge will be closed then we have four spillway four spillway I'll do another one up here I want to I want it drain fast so I want um, maybe I'll do another spillway off of this as well and I want it to fill fast too so I'll dig another area here right like that So maybe I'll just get rid of this part here, designations X, because I'm not going to need that for stone. I could come in at a different angle or something for stone. So this is the next part of the flood trap here. Um, the flood trap as it is right now, um, they come in, where do they come in? Right here. This is where they come in right here, these ramps right here. They go down and then um, I have to finish this floor here. So build, construct floor, enter right there, and then just bring this over here. Just like that, enter. Um, fill like blocks, granite, excellent. Okay, so that's enough granite to, and fill like blocks to fill up that area there. So once this uh, floor is constructed, Then I'm gonna need a bridge over here. So designations, Z to remove ramps. I'll keep these ramps here so they have a way to get down. Um, and then I'll remove this, designations in. Yeah, designations in on these four. And those I'll replace with walls so they don't go into this area here. So this area here is going to be floored off and then walled off. I'm going to have to build a bridge here in this section here. Uh, there's going to be a bridge here as well. It's going to be linked to this bridge. So it's going to be one lever which is going to be this bridge and this bridge. And then the drainage lever which is going to be a bridge here, 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 here and here. So once this all gets dug out, um, we'll smooth stone the walls along the edges of the map, here, here, and here, also here. And then we'll um, carve fortifications into them, build bridges here, 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 there, and there. <laughs> and then um, link everything up, and then the flood trap is ready to be popped with the uh, stream right here, the brook. Cut out these from above. Those tiles from above, and then we'll have a flood trap as well. Drowning trap. Excellent. So if I go to um, units and then L for labors. It looks like a bunch of all the builders here all the builders are mining. All the builders have mining turned on here, so so it should be fine. Surest stress here is now um, 51. Okay. 
51k stress, so sure just stress is coming down, which is great. Uh, these two traps are ready to receive either an army or a mega beast with the pulse on the chains and the construction on the temple resumes. Looks like they're getting a decent amount of the roof here built. Um, but I'm going to have to make more blocks, I think. Uh, let's just check these mason shops. I'll double you for blocks. 500 to 600. So I'm going to adjust the range of this. I want to have... Um, I want to have 400 on hand. And make up to 700. So they're going to stop making rock blocks for now until they use uh, enough where it's... Um, where there's only four, less than 400 and then they'll make them up to 700 because I want to get a lot of this... Um, get a lot of these stones out of here. So I'm going to day get priority one. And I'll just take a little room off here, off to the side right there. We'll see if anybody picks up this digging. It's a priority one dig job, so that somebody should do it. So it started flashing yellow, so somebody's coming along. Oh, Builder Id. So we're going to follow Builder Id here. Just going to dig out this room here, which is um, going to build a mason shop in here. P, stone collection, just right there. Um, w, two. Okay, so two wheelbarrows on this stone, on this stone stockpile. Excellent. Builder Dishmab is helping out. So build workshop. M for Mason. I'll just put that right there. The green tiles they can't walk on. The dark green. And that's going to be made out of fillite. Distance zero. For this stockpile, I just disabled um, metal, metal ore, um, stone, and also clay. Just disabled those. Oh, great. Okay, so this is um, this is now completed. So this is destroyed. So build E for a furnace. Uh, we'll do another magma smelter. L. Put that one right down here. Gabbro blocks, and then WV for a magma forge. Put that one up here, right there. Steel anvil, and um, Gabbro blocks is fine. And then I'm just going to need another area for. Okay, so these iron blocks, I'm going to turn the bins up on, on this one. Ten bins. Um, we'll add three bins to the steel, and then um, back here we'll do a um, barn block stockpile. Right there, and also right here. So this one's copper only, this one's silver only, and turn the bins off on both of them. Excellent. Excellent. And then this smelter here, we just got to re-add all the stuff, so... We don't have to redo the, um... We don't have to redo the workflows, we just have to add the ores and hit repeat. Magnetite ore is very important. Tetridite ore as well. steel bars, make pig iron bars, and we're not going to mess with uh, sterling silver or billion or brass right now.
and then as soon as I after this workshop is completed and I, and I remember I'll just set them the same so Izum is full, filling up this uh, stockpile which is great as well as um, Tourist Tourist is also filling up the collecting the wood there so this area is great this is our underground tree farm as soon as we get these this mason shop set up and these rocks out of the way um, more trees will sprout up now this is in an earlier episode I set up a burrow oh damn stone located here let's see one level up okay that's fine so I'm gonna have to it zoomed in and canceled the um, damp stone because right above this is the water um, but that should be fine to redesignate it's just going to do that a couple times that I have the damp st stone warning on. Um, but as this tree farm here, uh, the rocks get cleared out, um, more trees will grow. So I don't have any animals here to eat the shrubberies. Um, in an earlier episode, I went to a um, burrow. I set this up as um, burrow three here. So this is this this wood area is burrow three, and if I go into um, designations and then T if I go into this auto chop dashboard it's built into DF hack so if you're not using DF hack you're not gonna have this C and then if I go down to burrow 3 here um, auto chop is on and there's unlimited uh, minimum and maximum there's no limit um, we're not skipping fruit trees we're not skipping anything here in this burrow so any tree that pops up any tree that pops up in this farm here, in this underground tree farm, is automatically flagged for um, felling and lumber collection. And now there's, the camera keeps zooming me over here. <laughs> Designations dig. Just gonna redesignate those areas right there. I'm gonna change this to a priority one dig right here. Just this area. Just this area underneath the brook. Uh, because it's kind of a pain when it when it zooms right there, so I'm just going to power through this. Uh, and the ramps here were also removed, so I'm going to build G for a ramp, uh, bridge, and I'm just going to bring this up. Uh, two should be fine, and this is going to raise to the. Um, we'll have it raised to the west. Uh, granite blocks. Excellent. And build another bridge here. And that's going to raise to the south. Granite blocks as well. I like to have the bridges come out to... Um, possibly crush whatever's attacking the fortress um, so if the water is back here and the, the um, invaders are going to be in this area here then I'm going to raise it to the south so that way um, maybe it crushes one or two of them. Uh, this one I'm going to have raised to the north here. I'll do microline blocks on this one. Excellent. And then I'm just going to turn up the priority here. Designations. Uh, priority one on uh, maybe just these tiles here. Um, the first few tiles of these spillways, so that way I can just get the bridges in place. Build, construct wall. Uh, box selection off. It's right there. And just building the wall around this entrance right here. Just so I could see it a little bit better. Right there. Okay, so these four guys right here ran out of work. So they are going to be set uh, customization. Uh, we'll make them builders. Uh, get rid of stone detailing there. Just match them with the rest of the builders here. Write the changes. Okay, something's off. Oh, this right here, what is this? Siege engines? Off. Oh, okay. 
and then I can right click on uh, do mat right here, customization, update uh, custom profession builder from this unit. Click that. Excellent. But that gets rid of my idlers there. I was uh, excellent. And builder kid's going to dig. Going to dig down in the water trap. Uh, designation Z. I'm just going to get rid of all these ramps here. All those ramps are going to go. Excellent. Okay, so it keeps coming up here. And then once all that's done, I just pop this right here. Um... So the water will actually, um, since this area here has the intake for the water, the water's going to be, it's going to fill up this area as well. So I could build a bridge right here. I think I'll just build it down here, build G. This will be the other... Um, section of the trap and it's going to raise to the north and then I can build in these spillway bridges as well I'm going to have these go to the west uh, microline. And I set this area here as priority one as well. Just so that way I can get the bridges in place and then um, everything linked up together. There we go. Build. G for bridge. This one's going to race to the north to create that wall and also be microline. There we go, microline blocks right there. Now just the rest of the tunnels need to be dug out. Oh, we got a ghost here. Shem. Let's give Z for status. Uh, so this is a moaning spirit has returned from the dead. Well, it's going to trouble the um, the dwarves. They're going to be negative thoughts about being haunted from the dead. So I'll go to the um, craft dwarf workshop here and queue up a slab. Grave a memorial slab. I just gotta find him in the list here. Normally they're at the top, but it doesn't look like it this time. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Shem right here. Slab engraved already. So if I'm over sla uh, slab in is already engraved, so let's install it. Build. Alt S for a slab. Uh, pick a location here in the hall. X. Here we go. Slate Memorial to Shem. Right there. And the masonry shop here isn't complete yet. Let's check on the. Um, oh, the smelter is complete, so we're just going to add in all these. Melt metal object, repeat. Okay, so they're all added in there. Excellent. Get rid of those two stockpiles, and then they'll go into these, respectively. So the um, bins here, the silver, I'm going to turn up. Uh, we'll do ten bins. Uh, copper, we'll do... Um, we'll keep copper at zero bins until I start seeing some copper come in. Oh great, so they got to the wall over here, so designations, and then S to smooth stone. 
and that's that wall is going to be smooth stoned and then carved into fortifications. Excellent. Place track vehicle. Zoom. Follow. Oh, no job. Okay. I'm just going to go to H here. So I just took the, um, I just disabled the track vehicle out, out of that stop there. Because I didn't know if they could reach it or not. Oh, this looks great. These guys are mining. Uh, now we finally got some work going on in the uh, basement. There's a beers here instead of just clean up, which is great. Now this area is full. Let's check out this beehive area. Uh, walls are completed here. Um, the walls here and the and the floor above it so we can now dig out this section uh, maybe not priority one though we'll do priority five let's dig out this room here so they'll do the flood trap first and then this area you can turn barrels off on this stockpile i think it was originally like a kind of a catch-all stockpile so shift e and then um I'll add some bins in here. Eight. This is um, splints and crutches and gems, chains, and silver hive. So a bunch of finished goods there. And what's this barrel? Tower cap barrel right there. Okay. So that'll get sorted out a little bit. Okay, so this area here is still being engraved. So silver bookcases is under other objects. I'm gonna make, uh, I'm just gonna queue up a bunch of them. Um, yeah, I'll just fill up the queue in this one. I'm not gonna set a workflow for it, as well as over here, this magma forge, other objects, silver, and then bookcase. I'm just gonna queue up a bunch of them here as well. There we go. This room right here. What is this stuff? Designations B and then claim. Let's claim everything here. Designations B and then dump for D. I'm just gonna dump all this stone right here and the and whatever's in there. That's all getting dumped. Build. Alt C for the bookcase, and then Shift P for planning mode. And I'm just going to build some bookcases in here. This room right here. Line the walls with bookcases. Door, right here. Uh, planning mode for the tables. Let's see. Do a table there. Oh, this is like one. So I want an empty space and then a chair and then a table. And then another table and a chair and an empty space, but this is one too short for that. Hmm. That's okay, I'll just do it here. Double row of tables right here. And uh, we'll do a single row like this, and then chairs, planning mode on, and they're just going to share the tables if they can right here in this section. There we go. And then extra, remove these extra ones right here. Excellent. That'll be our library. Um, I for zones. Extra remove the zone. M for meeting area. L for location. Add location. And this is going to be a um, L for library. Excellent. 
because I got some books here in the in the trading depot. Uh, we got our uh, tab tabbing out. We got a couple of books here, at least two of them. I don't know if there's more books in the fortress somewhere else, but all the books are then going to be brought into the library here. I still didn't make this mason shop yet. <laughs> going on over here. Oh great, so there, there's a decent amount of the um, floor completed up here. Let's go to build shift C for construction floor. Let's see if we can do this section right here. Box select. Quartz blocks, we'll try those. Okay. Uh, Dore. Slate. Gabbro. Nice. Okay, now we'll do um, Orthoclase now. Excellent. Excellent. So the construction resumes. <laughs> That's all the time I have. Thank you very much for watching. And subscribe for more videos. I'm just going to save the game.